So, the, so modeling with volumes of revolution is a very common type of question in the exam. And sometimes these kind of questions are quite difficult. So here's one example. We have somebody who's a champion bowler who makes a stand for her favorite bowling ball. She models the cross section of the stand using the two vertical lines shown in the diagram and part of the curve x squared plus y minus k squared equals 100. And the first part of the question is to find k. So firstly, uh, notice that this, this curve that we're given here is a circle. It's a circle centered at 0, k, and with radius 10. And we know the point 0, 10 lies on the circle. So the only way 0, 10 could lie on the circle is if k is 20, because, well, in fact, we can substitute the point. So there, there are a number of ways to see it. Maybe you just see straight away uh, for part A that k is 20. But if not, you could put the point 0, 10, this point here, into this equation, and you would get 0 squared plus 10 minus k squared equals 100. And then you can solve this to find k. 10 minus k is plus minus 10. So k is 0 or 20, but it couldn't be 0 because then the circle would be the other way up. It would be the circle centered at the origin, but it's not. It's centered here. Uh, OK, so yeah, so k is 20. Part B. Show that the volume of revolution formed by rotating the curve about the y-axis between the lines y equals a and y equals b is given by this expression. So y equals a and y equals b are some two lines here. So this is y equals a, y equals b. And we're rotating just a small part of the curve. Um, around the y-axis to form a solid of revolution. So, uh, so to find the volume, it's going to be the integral of pi from a to y between a and b of x squared dy. And x squared is given by 100 minus y minus k squared. This is pi times the integral from a to b of 100 minus y minus 20 squared, dy. And then we can integrate this. This is pi times 100y minus, and then if we integrate y minus 20 squared, uh, we're going to get y minus 20 cubed over 3, and that's between a and b. And I think actually to get this answer, we're probably going to have to expand out, but um, never mind. So we'll get uh, 100b minus a minus b minus 20 cubed over 3 plus a minus 20 cubed over 3. And then let's see what we want to get. We want to get pi over 3 outside. So we'll take the third out. That's good. And then 100 b minus a minus b minus 20 cubed plus a minus 20 cubed. And then we want to, yeah, so now if we expand b minus 20 cubed and a minus 20 cubed, then we've got minus b cubed and then uh, minus 60b squared, just using the binomial theorem. Um, and then let's see, plus... 20 squared is 400 times 3 is 1200b, and then minus 20 cubed, which is minus 8000, and then my, and then plus a cubed minus 60a squared plus 1200a, 
and again minus 8,000. But then these two 8,000s are going to cancel out because there's a minus in front of the, the bracket of the Bs. So we've got pi over 3. And then let's see, we've got... Uh, well, we want to get 60b squared minus a squared, so which we've got because we've got the b squared here and then the a squared here. So we've got 60b squared minus a squared. And then we want minus b cubed minus a cubed. We've got that. And then we want, so maybe let's cross out things we've used. And then we want minus 900 b minus a. Well, also notice the 8,000s cancel. And then we've got 1,200, uh, well, we've got 1,200a minus 100a, that's 1,100. We wanted 900. So perhaps, uh, what have we done wrong? Well, if we just go back to expanding, uh, let's just check we expanded b minus 20 cubed correctly. Um, we got b cubed minus 60b squared, and then we want plus 3 times 20 squared b minus 20 cubed. So 3 times 20 squared is indeed 1,200. Uh, oh, I know what we did wrong. We forgot... When we took the 3 outside, this uh, this shouldn't be 100. This should be 300 to make 100 when it's expanded out. So I'm sorry, there was a mistake there. This is 300. And that now matches up because uh, 1,200 take away 300 is 900. So this is 900. Yeah, sorry, minus 900. b minus a. And that's the answer. So it just goes to show if you have a complicated question like this and it looks like it's not quite, quite going to work out at the end, you should just go back and check what you've done and maybe somewhere there's a small mistake that's quite easy for you to find. Um, and then part c, the stand is made of resin costing uh, two and a half pence per meter cubed find to the nearest penny the cost of the stand. Well, uh, notice that the, the cylinder between minus 10 and 10 for x, uh, this, this cylinder of radius 10 and height 20, we can work out the volume of this uh, maybe I'll just draw it on in different colour. So this this cylinder here, we can do this and then take away what we get if we rotate the curve between y equals 10 and y equals 20. So the, the volume of the cylinder first is pi times 10 squared times 20, which is 2000 pi. And then the volume of the curve rotated between 10 and 20, we can use our answer to part B. So uh, volume of rotated curve is, we can use this with B is 20, A is 10. So then we just need to simplify this. Uh, it's probably easiest now to use a calculator. So we'll... Okay, so that gives us 2000 pi by three. So now we just subtract to get the stand because this is the bit that's hollowed out where the curve is. We take this bit away because that's where the bowling ball goes. So therefore volume of stand is, well, if we subtract them, we get 4,000 pi over three. 
So the cost, we're told it costs 0 0.025, 0 0.025 pounds per meter cubed. So uh, 0 0.025 times this, which is 100 pi over 3, or 104 pounds 72 to the nearest penny. And then the last part, part D of the question, says why might the actual cost differ? So this is an estimate for what the cost might be. The actual cost might differ. Um, well, there might be imperfections in the production process that mean... Um, the, it's not perfectly this shape. Um, maybe the edges won't be quite as sharp. Um, you, you have to say something realistic that's reasonable. So yeah, I, I would probably say something like um, there might be imperfections in the finished uh, stand, um, meaning it's not exactly the same, not a perfect copy of the shape of the model. Um, meaning the volume and therefore the cost would differ slightly. Of course, you might also have something quite reasonable that you think is something different. Um, but uh, yeah, don't don't leave parts like that blank um, because if you put nothing, you're definitely getting zero marks. Because I've noticed sometimes in maths exams, people see a question like this that they don't like the look of because it's more of a sort of reasoning question than a mathematical question. But please don't leave questions like this blank. Um, yeah, so, so modeling, fairly difficult modeling questions are quite common. And uh, yeah, so it's important to do plenty of practice of these kind of questions.